Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse and today we're gonna to be making a fun pillow. I actually have a, a purchased pillow cover here, uh, a, a linen fit pillow cover, and then I have several pieces of scrap fabric. Um, we've got some fun colors. We're gonna do a, a flower pillow and I've just taken little scraps of different colors that I wanted to use on the pillow. The way that I'm getting my scraps is just out of some scrap fabrics that I have around. And what you really wanna do is just um, get some little strips. So what you wanna do is you cut a little area here on the edge about um, a little over a quarter of an inch, maybe about a half an inch. And then what we do is we just strip it down. Now this is gonna leave some um, some strings and things like that, but what you can do is um, you just pull all the excess strings off of that, and then it kind of makes the little um, strip of fabric that you have kind of twist, and that's what we wanna do is we're gonna twist it and we're gonna make some flowers. The next thing that I did, I went ahead and kind of drew off a little bit of a pattern. Uh, it's not exact, but a little bit of a guide of what I wanted to do. Um, and because I need to put a, um, a layer of protection between uh, the pillow cover. So I'm gonna stick this in here. And as you hopefully can see, you can still see the, the pattern here. And so that's what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna line this up, kind of center it up on the pillow to give us a guide. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I want to transfer the pattern onto uh, the pillow cover here so we can have a guide. I'm, I'm using a green and a black uh, Sharpie. The green uh, for the stems, and I'm just going to kinda, like I said, I'm not gonna follow this exact, but I'm gonna try to create um, similar lines here because I'm wanting to keep this within a certain range. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up another one. And you just want to use your, you know, creative instincts here. Just, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, but I do want to kind of bring this in Bring one in this way. And now we have our stems. And um, we can continue on with the green. That's no problem because you're going to be covering the rest of it up. The green, though, I wanted to use for the actual stems because I'm not going to cover those. So I want to also draw out some leaves on here. And so I'm just going to make a couple of leaf shapes. And they don't have to be anything exact. Um, keep in mind that this is a creative process and we don't have to have anything too perfect. So there's a few leaves. Then I'm going to draw out kind of a circular um, pattern here. And what I'm really thinking here is that I'm thinking about like zinnias, that kind of look. Um, so we want to get kind of some circles going. Again, they don't have to be exact because you're gonna be kind of filling this in with the fabrics. Um,
Okay, friends, we've got the um, pillow cover made. Uh, it's looking really cute. I cannot wait to see it with an actual pillow inside of it and what it looks like kind of plump, plumped up. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to take another look at it. Okay, friends, here it is, the gorgeous flower pillow made from fabric scraps. I am going to be using this in my guest bedroom, uh, but after I had finished this, y'all, I thought this would make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. There are so many things that I can think of you could do with this. This would be great to use maybe uh, fabrics from children's clothing to commemorate the child, or maybe um, if you want to... If, a mother that has uh, several children, you could do one for each child out of some fabrics that represent their uh, childhood. Uh, it would be great, like a commemorative type um, pillow for a wedding, uh, maybe fabrics from the wedding um, to make the flowers with. Just I can just think of so many different ideas that you could do to make it even more special. Mine was just random scraps of fabric, but uh, just like a lot of quilts, uh, they're made from children's clothing and things of that nature. So this would be just a fun way to... Um, give your mom a really special gift. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching.